Which are the best places to find life in our solar system? The possibility of discovering life beyond Earth has never been greater. We are officially now living in the James Webb era. Even though James Webb might look for life in atmospheres of exoplanets, life might actually occur much closer to our home. And no, it's not going to be little green men flying through space and invading our planet, but much more likely microbes or bacterial life. You might be wondering where we might find such life in our own solar system. Don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we are going to talk about five best places in our solar system where we might find extraterrestrial life. The first question that might come to your mind would be, where are we going to find such microbial life in our solar system? It was originally assumed that the solar system was a lifeless wasteland apart from the Earth. Mars's rocky neighbors were either too dry and frigid or too hot and hellish like Venus. The other planets were gas giants, and life on them or their satellite moons was almost unthinkable. Earth appeared to be a wonder within a miracle. But life isn't that simple. We know that life on Earth is able to thrive even in the harshest, most brutal environments, in super cold and super dry conditions, depths of unimaginable pressures, and without the need to use sunlight as a source of energy. At the same time, our cursory understanding of these obscure worlds has expanded tremendously. Our rocky neighbors of Venus and Mars may have once been temperate and Earth-like, and some of the life might have lingered on after these planets' climates took a turn for the worse. Several of the icy moons that hang around Jupiter and Saturn might have underground oceans that could sustain life. A couple may even have atmospheres, and still other places that seem to be too exotic for life continue to surprise us. As we explore our solar system further, it seems increasingly likely that we'll find evidence that we're not alone. What are these places which have a possibility to host life? Let's look at them one by one. Number 5. Venus Venus's surface temperatures are hot enough to melt lead and its surface pressures are more than 80 times higher than on Earth. Still, Venus might host life. The possibility of life on Venus was first raised last year when researchers detected phosphine gas in its thick atmosphere. On Earth, phosphine is primarily produced by life in oxygen-poor ecosystems. This raises the possibility that there might be life on Venus responsible for producing it. The most likely scenario would be microbial life that's hanging within the clouds, airborne life, basically. However, this is just still a theory, and further research is needed to confirm it. If there is indeed life on Venus, it would be an incredible discovery that could rewrite our understanding of how life can develop in different environments. However, the detection of phosphine has since come under scrutiny, and not all scientists believe that it is evidence of life. Despite this debate, the idea of life on Venus has renewed interest in the planet. Venus is often thought of as a hellish world with harsh conditions that would make it uninhabitable for any known life form. However, some scientists believe that Venus may have once been habitable and still might be. The new Da Vinci Plus and Veritas missions that NASA will launch late this decade will help us to answer this question more concretely. These missions won't find life directly, but they will provide valuable data about the conditions on Venus and whether or not it could support life. Number 4. Enceladus Enceladus, Saturn's sixth largest moon, is one of the most intriguing places in our solar system. Covered in clean ice, it is one of the most reflective bodies in the solar system. Its surface is ice cold, but there is significant activity going on beneath the surface. The moon ejects plumes that contain salt water, ammonia, and organic molecules like methane and propane. Enceladus is thought to have a global salty ocean, and NASA has found evidence of hydrothermal activity deep underground, which could provide a source of heat that is necessary for life to evolve and thrive. Given the presence of all of these potential ingredients for life, Enceladus ought to be further up on our list of places to explore in our search for extraterrestrial life. However, there are no current plans for a mission to study this fascinating moon in detail. Many mission ideas, including several under NASA, have been considered over the previous several years. All are focused towards an astrobiological research hunt for clues 
that Enceladus may support life. While burrowing deep into the ocean would be the most certain approach to verify whether the moon is home to life, we may also get fortunate and identify biosignatures emitted by the moon's cryovolcanoes, volcanoes that erupt vaporized materials like water or ammonia rather than molten rock. However, not for a long time. Number 3. Titan Scientists have long been intrigued by the possibility of life on Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan boasts a robust atmosphere for a rocky world and is teeming with different bodies of liquid, lakes, rivers, and seas. But these bodies of liquid are not made of water, they are composed of methane and other hydrocarbons. This makes Titan extremely rich in organic materials, perfect for developing life as we know it. Additionally, Titan may also have a subsurface ocean of water, though this has yet to be verified. The Dragonfly mission set to launch in 2027 will help scientists understand exactly how developed Titan's prebiotic chemistry is. The Dragonfly mission will send a drone helicopter to explore Titan's atmosphere directly and will give us valuable insights into the potential for life on this intriguing world. After the atmospheric entry probe Huygens landed on Titan in 2005, scientists were surprised to find a complex world with dim sunlight a surface of icy grains and rocks, and evidence of possible subsurface liquid water. These conditions make Titan a strong candidate for habitability, even though it is much colder than Earth. Some studies have proposed that amino acids and nucleotides, the building blocks of RNA and DNA, can be formed without liquid water by using the chemicals available in Titan's atmosphere. These findings suggest that there is a possibility of life on Titan, even though the conditions on the surface are harsh. Unfortunately, Titan's chemistry and habitat still lack many of the prerequisites for terrestrial life. Thus, if life exists on Titan, it would have to be unlike any creature found on Earth. Number 2. Mars The search for life on Mars has been a high priority for planetary scientists since the 1950s. The Curiosity rover, which is currently exploring Mars, has found strong evidence that the planet was habitable in the past. It also had a robust atmosphere back then. The presence of liquid water is essential for life as we know it, and Mars had lakes and rivers of water on its surface billions of years ago. Although the Martian atmosphere is now too thin to support life, it is possible that life could still exist underground. Radar observations have shown that there are likely to be reservoirs of liquid water a few kilometers below the surface and this could provide an environment where life could thrive. The samples that the Perseverance rover will bring back to Earth will give us a better idea of whether there is current life on Mars, and if so, what it might look like. So what does that have to do with finding current life? Well, if there are signs of ancient life, it is possible life on Mars still exists. Probably not on the surface, but maybe underground. There have already been a few big studies that have used radar observations to show that reservoirs of liquid water probably exist a couple of kilometers below the surface. Hence, further research needs to be directed towards verifying the findings of these studies in order to ascertain the presence or absence of current Martian life forms. We've discovered bacteria on Earth that can survive in comparable environments, so it's completely feasible that something is also alive in those areas of Mars. It will be quite tough to get down there, but if we have cause to suspect that anything is hiding in these reservoirs, it will be all hands on deck to find out how to go there and see for ourselves. Number 1. Europa Europa, the smallest of Jupiter's Galilean moons and somewhat smaller than Earth's moon, may be missed in favor of the more spectacular moons on this list. This inconspicuous moon, however, has the smoothest, solid surface of any known object in the whole solar system, hinting at the possibility of a massive underground ocean of liquid water. Europa is covered by a thick shell of ice, which hides a huge subsurface ocean. This ocean is heated by tidal forces, and the resulting internal circulation is thought to help replenish the icy surface on a regular basis. This means that the ocean floor is interacting with the surface, which means that if we want to determine whether life exists in those subsurface oceans, we may not necessarily need to go all the way down there. 
Scientists have found deposits of clay-like minerals associated with organic materials on Europa, and it's suspected that radiation hitting the icy surface could result in oxygen that might find its way into the subsurface oceans and be used by emerging life. All the ingredients for life are potentially here. So while we still don't know for sure if life exists on Europa, the possibility is certainly tantalizing. Europa is one of the most intriguing moons in our solar system. Its surface is covered in ice, but it is believed to have a liquid water ocean underneath. This, combined with the fact that it is tidally locked, meaning one sign always faces its planet Jupiter, makes it an excellent candidate for hosting life. And we are lucky enough because we are set to study Europa in great detail in the coming years. The JUICE mission will make two flybys of Europa during its time in the Jovian system, but the marquee mission on the books is Europa Clipper, a spacecraft that would conduct low-altitude flights that would attempt to study and characterize the surface and investigate the subsurface environment as best as it can. Clipper launches in 2024, and we can't wait to see what it discovers about this fascinating moon. Some regions in the solar system provide a surprising array of settings in which astrobiologists might seek the finding of extraterrestrial life, ranging from a smoggy planet of chemical lakes to smooth, frozen exteriors that mask immense subsurface seas. Not only will such an amazing feat change humanity's vision of the rest of the galaxy, it may also provide answers concerning the origins of life on Earth, where it began and how it first appeared over 3.8 billion years ago. So as we are entering a new phase in space exploration, there is a high chance that we might find life in at least one of these places. So which place according to you has the highest chance of hosting life? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to watch our other videos about alien life through YouTube end screens and playlists.